All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over some uh, terrain editing instead of the usual triggers. You'll see I have a Belshir themed map here. However, it is actually on the space platform with a different kind of cliff and space platform background, which is actually blue instead of the usual brownish. I also tinted a bit to get a bit different effect. And this map I threw together in about 20-30 minutes, so it's not looking very fancy. It's just a show-off that you can mix tile sets together. Over here I've added a pool of lava, and as you can see the lava is actually moving. And uh, this is what we will be going through today. I'll show you how to create mixed tile sets and create moving water or lava effects as you wish. So I'm going to go into the editor now. So here's my map in the editor. It's a fairly normal map. Uh, you'll see this pool of lava. And we're going to create a new map. Uh, I'm going to make it on space platform. As it's easier that way, I'm going to set the height up to 9. I'm going to make it random with a bit of strength there. So we have a normal space platform map. We can lower the cliff. Okay, we're gonna have to up it. Lower the cliff to get uh, see the background. And the best way to edit the tileset is to go into the data editor. And you find, if you scroll down in this list up left here, you'll find terrain texture sets. And then you find your set, which is space platform, for me. And here you can edit a lot of stuff. For instance, you can add more cliffs. You can have up to four different cliff types. Uh, not everything looks good with every background. So, for instance, the organic cliffs here will probably not look so good with uh, my background. Um, you can go down here to the textures and you can change the test textures but you can maximum have eight textures so say I don't want the plates but I want to use the grass from Belshir like so and you can do you can play with the skybox uh, what I did to get the other effect was I took the Marsara skybox I think here because it's usually a bit brownish, this uh, space platform skybox. So I changed it. You see it a bit brown back here. I changed it to Marsara and it got more bluish tint to it. This is just a trial and error thing. Just play around with it until you find what you like. Now if I go into the editor, you'll notice my cliff is not here and neither are my new textures. Uh, what you have to do is you save it. And you have to quit and re and or close and open it again. You close the map. Uh, unfortunately, I have my own map behind there, but all right. Then you find your map again, test map, and you open it up again because you need to reload. And now I have grass, grass dark. Okay, this was not the background I used. You'll see it a bit grayish instead, but just try it out. And you can now draw grass on your space platform, which is neat. And uh, when we go into cliffs, you can have organic cliffs. You'll see if you lower them down, they don't look so good because you get this corner here. So instead, uh, most of these cliffs are better to use when you race. You can have different cliffs to race up, but lower it down if you have this background, it won't always work. If you use a different tile set that has a ground here instead, then it could work fine. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it really. It's really easy. You just go into terrain texture sets and you can fool around with all the settings here. You can change the creep and stuff like that. The fog, the fog color and lots of other things. I didn't quite get it to work to add a um, background or a skybox to a map that didn't have background. I assumed it was supposed to be this part here. Hide lowest level of terrain. 
and so on, but when I disabled it, nothing happened on this map. Uh, whatever. Let's keep moving. I don't want to give this movie over 10 minutes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix some water. I'm going to start by adding some water. You'll see it's below my terrain. So I'm going to... First I'm going to raise everything around here. Quite a lot. Like so. Then I'm going to lower the center to get a pool of water here. Alright. Go back in here. We once again scroll down and find water. We find our... We're on Braxis Alpha, so we find our thing here. And if I want to change this to lava, all I need to do is modify object, copy from, and then I choose one of the lava maps, for instance, char. But I don't want to do that now. I want to make it... Leave it as water this time. Um, here, you'll find water state. If you go in here, I'm going to move it up so you can see it. You'll find your default water state. And uh, here you can play with some settings if you want. Like how transparent the water should be and lots of things. But you can also right click up here and add a water state. And your most important settings here is height. If you can see it. Height up here is 9 on this one, 4 on this, so we'll set it up to 7, for instance. You can create as many water states as you like. Okay, then we go into the triggers. Just going to remove all of these, and I'm going to create a revealer, so we can see the entire map. Player 1, entire map. Then I'm going to add a new one here. Water. And I'm going to add a new variable. Uh, water state. Yeah, it's going to be a boolean. There. Here I'll add a periodic event. Say every f three seconds of game time. Then if then. If you don't know what I'm doing now, then go through my basic triggers tutorial. I'm moving a bit quickly now. So we're going to take our water state and check if it's true. If it's true, then it... Uh, uh, never mind. We'll go ahead water. Set water state. And here you can pick your water states. So... If it's true, then it has been on the ultimate setting. We're going to set it back to the default over three seconds. Here, if it was false, then we should set it to the ultimate setting. Since I started it on false, so the first change, I wanted to go to the ultimate setting, and then it should go back, and so on. What we need to add now is a set variable to keep track of which state we are in. So here it was true, so we should set it to false. And here we should set it to true. So we flip it each time. If we come in, if it's true, it will go here and set it to false, and it will change to the default one. If it's false, as it starts at, it will come in here and change the water state to uh, true and change it to the alternate setting. And that's really it. So in the data editor here, the two things you want to look at is texture sets and water. And you can play around with this, adding more states, make it go up and down. If you want to add damage on the water, for instance, you would use, usually use a region and around your water. And then you would add that, you would check for units in there and you would apply damage if the water state is up. If the water is all the way up, you would apply damage or something like that. So, but just play around with it. You can do some cool things. We're going to look at this in the editor now. Uh, no, in the game. So let's see how it looks. So here we are in the editor. Here you can see our grass that we added to the tileset. And the background has been changed. Um, it's now grayish. Uh, our water going up and down. Uh, looking very pretty for five minutes of work. Uh, you can probably add, do, put some more work into it. And over here we have our cliffs. Different type of cliff than it's usually on this map. And yeah, hopefully you can have some fun with this until the next video. Uh, next one will probably be a trigger one again.